So I'm going to do a clone with this Star Tech. Got the source and the destination, so that's the one you want to clone and the one you're cloning to. You got the display at the bottom that tells you the percentage of how far you are. And to start it, you just press and hold that and then press it again when you're ready. But I'm going to do it now anyway. I'm going to duplicate this Windows 11 SSD in here. Actually, this is the source, that's the destination on this one. It's the other way around, the HDD2 is the source and HDD1 is the target, so make sure you check your manual, look at this one's written on it so you can't get it wrong. This one I did make a mistake with when I first used it and wiped a good disc with Windows 11 on it and had to do all the work again. But Anyway, I'm going to do it on this one today, just do, just do it for video. So I'll get it ready. You'll, you'll also, you have to go from a smaller source to a larger destination or equal size but I'll, I'll put, usually I'm going up anyway so right ready to go then so I'm going to put the source disk in which is 128 gigabytes Let's put it in the right way and I've got the target which is 160 gigabytes it's got to be bigger Turn it on, won't help. So just give it a minute to settle. And then, obviously I ain't got it plugged into the computer, it's just offline. So I'm going to press and hold. That's going to get ready. Now it's actually started already, so just press and hold it and it starts. These will flash, but suddenly that one will become, just stop flashing, light up. So it's 25%, then 50%, 75%. Shouldn't take long. And I've had 100% success with this so far, so hopefully I will with this one. Well, it's taken on long and it's already at 50%. As you can see, both 25 and 50% lights are lighting. But it's still, obviously, got half to do, so I'll leave it going. And then I'll test the, tar the destination disc, the target disc and see if we can boot from it. Right, well, it's done. We're all flashing. So, I'm going to pull the destination out. I'm just going to plug it in here. I need two hands. And then we'll see if it'll boot. So, one second. Right, that's him. I've already got the... It's going to ask for a new keyboard, because I ain't got a keyboard plugged in. Oh, there you go, boot straight to Windows. So I've had 100% success with this one so far, but don't mean to say you will, but it is a good machine. And like I say, these are, I don't know why, they seem to be better. At, say if you've got a hard drive that won't connect to the Windows, these seem to pick them up better. I don't know whether it's got better electronics inside or better power, but they just seem to connect uh, hard drives that are struggling to connect to Windows better. So to raise on these you have to press the button at the back it's just at the back there you can't press it with your finger it's, indent it's like inside obviously to prevent accidents so it's all turned on I'm going to try it with both Try and do two at once. I've never tried two at once, I've only ever used one, one. so we'll see if it does two. And I've just got this little Torx bit from a precision set so I can press the button. You press and hold it for three seconds. Obviously, you gotta switch it on first. and switch the socket on socket here I'm spinning up I'm just going to press the button for 3 seconds then 1, 2, 3 
So it looks like I have to press the button one, one more time. I've got to do it then. So now it's going. When it's flashing, you know it's working. So basically, hold it for three seconds. It'll get it all set up, and then press it once, and it'll start raising. Both of them are vibrating, so it looks like it's doing both at the same time. But I'll check afterwards. Obviously, it's going to take a long while, so I'll leave them. So the first light is lit now. So that's telling it's 25 percent done. Then it'll be 50, 75, and then obviously 100. It takes a while, and then it'll finish. So you just once they're fully lit, you know it's getting there. It's nearly done. It's finishing. That first light took about 20 minutes, so it does take a while. I don't know which one it's measuring or whether it's added them together or what. So we'll find out. Okay, so they're done now. That's done now. It's flashing. So I'm going to try these just to see how well they were erased on my recovery software. I'll try it now. So just on the smaller of the two, the 160 gigabyte, and that has come up with nothing on the scan, all it's got is system volume information which Windows puts on when you format it, initialise and format it so that one is clean so it's erased it 100% so it's very secure and it looks like it did both discs as well but I'm going to check the other one now same thing with the 400 gigabyte just seeing Windows storage information So. Does an excellent wipe on them to the point where that even the best software in the world, data recovery software in the world, can't pull it up. So that's a good safe erasure on it.